Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Code a Basic Web Page Layout. And in this video, we're going to do exactly that and just start coding some simple HTML. And then further on down the road in some upcoming lectures, we're going to be splitting the HTML out into separate PHP chunks. And we'll get into that a little later, but why don't we jump right in? In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 26 final, and we're going to be working with the student folder. So in our code editor, let's start off by opening the 26 final folder and make sure you have the student file, it's the student folder open because that's what we're going to use to create our final site. I have the instructor folder here for reference and feel free to use that to, as we're going through just to make sure you have everything working. But for now, we're not actually going to be mimicking what's in the instructor folder because we're going to just start with some basic HTML. So first things first, in the student folder, create a new file and call it index.php. That is our first PHP page. And let's work with that and code a basic HTML skeleton. So first we have the HTML5 doc type. And then the next part is the HTML tags. Within the HTML tags, we have head tags. After the head tag, we have a body tag where we put our HTML. And then in the head tag, remember to put the title. And then we're going to be linking uh, our style sheet. So I've already done all the styles. This isn't really a course about CSS, so we're just going to link that up. So use the link tag here href we're going to be referencing the assets folder in the root of the course files folder so that is forward slash assets styles.css and then rel style sheet all right that'll tell our html to look for that style sheet all right and next up we are going to add a couple more tags and some ids and classes so that we could start working with those a little later so let's give the body the ID of final-example. That's so the CSS can style our web page. Inside the body tag, let's add a div. Give it the class of wrapper. I like ending the div with a comment just to let myself know where that div ends. Inside the wrapper, we're going to have a div with the ID of banner. And I'm going to close that here with a comment. After that, we have a div. And we're going to give that the ID of nav. And then after nav, we have another div. Let's give it the class of content. All right, and then within content, let's add at the end here a div and give it the ID of footer. And we're going to add a class to this called CF. And basically, we're just adding this because in the styles, I have a class called CF, which stands for clear fix, because we need to access the clear fix class in the CSS in order to clear the footer ID div uh, because we have a couple elements in here that will be floating. And like I mentioned, this isn't really a course about how to design or style a website using CSS. I have some courses for that. Uh, this is mainly about PHP. So I'm just going to add the skeleton here with all of the predefined IDs and classes. Uh, and that's going to be referenced in the styles.css file in the assets folder. If you want to check that out and just see what I've coded in the CSS folder, totally up to you. You can go in there and check it out and see what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. You could even feel free to change it up and make the site look a little bit more like your own. So let's continue. Inside the footer, we have a div. We're going to give it the class of column because we have a CSS class called column where we are going to be floating some divs within the footer. And we're going to say three because this is a three column footer. 
And I'm going to copy that and paste it two more times. Uh, but on the last one, we're actually going to give it an additional class called last because in the CSS, I'm using the CSS class of last to remove the margin. Feel free to check that out if you want to know more about it. All right. In the column here, the first one, we're going to add a strong tag. And then we're just going to put the text phone. And then 808-529-529. 3819. This is just a totally fake number. Or maybe not. I bet you if you called that number, it would probably call somebody's house or a business in Hawaii. But I don't know. <laughs> you, can, uh, you could do whatever phone number you want. I just picked that up ran at random. All right. In the second column, let's add another strong tag. The text of location. One, two, three. Capiolani Boulevard. Break tag, Honolulu, Hawaii. What are the chances that this number actually goes to 123 Kapiolani Boulevard in Honolulu? Probably very slim. All right, and then in the last one, we're going to add a little bit more text here. So let's give some space, a strong tag, and let's say hours. M tag for emphasis. Tuesday to Thursday, break tag, 1 o'clock p.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. Two break tags, just to give a little more space. And why don't we just copy this so we don't have to code all the same markup again. And let's say Friday to Saturday, we have 4 p.m to 11 p.m. and then paste one more time and let's say Sunday, Monday and let's just say it's closed and only one break tag at the end. Well, let's leave two. Okay, and all right, so after our footer, let's add a small tag. And let's say copyright. That's the copyright HTML entity 2014. We're going to make it static right now because later we'll make it dynamic with PHP. Brad Hussey. You can add something else a little later. We're going to use PHP to dynamically add that. All right, and then after the wrapper, let's go div. And let's give it the class of copyright info. Close that up here. And in here, we're actually going to, let's just add a little bit of PHP right now. PHP include. This is the PHP include function. And we're going to include something in the assets folder. And then the includes folder within the assets and a page called copyright.php. It's something that I created so that it has my copyright information at the bottom, just so people know that this is the course that I created, so they don't try and steal my stuff. All right, so dot dot slash, we're going up a folder, assets, includes, and copyright.php. All right, so if we save this and we check the index.php file out in our browser, let's see what it looks like. All right, so we have something here. We're kind of missing a few things, like the the logo and everything like that, but we have some stuff. So why don't we just clean up that header just a little bit. All right, so back up here in the banner, let's add a logo. So a href, and we're going to just link that back to the root folder and say title return to home. All right, and then an image tag, the source will be image folder that we have in our student folder here and then banner.png and then let's add some alt text franklin's fine dining save that and you should have that now in your page there we go there's the banner so now we're just missing the navigation bar so let's add the navigation bar 
All right, here in our nav, let's add an unordered list and then li tag. In the li tag, let's put an a tag. All right, in here, let's start with home and let's give that the index.php file. Copy this and we're going to paste it three more times and we're just going to change the info. So we have team, then we have menu and contact. Let's change the pages, although we don't have them yet, we will change them now so we don't have to later menu and then contact now keep in mind right now this is static we're actually going to be using php array and loop through our array to dynamically generate our list items but for now this is what we're going to do let's check that out and see what it looks like all right here we go so now we have a good basic layout these don't go any right now in fact if you click them the site will break and everything is static. This is a fully static HTML page, except for this part down here. But other than that, we have a static HTML page, and that is our basic web page layout. And in the next lecture and the following ones after that, we're going to be picking this thing apart and creating a dynamic version of this. So I'll see you there.